You know you're my favorite white boy, right? What's going on guys? I'm gonna be attempting an arm hold record here. I'm gonna attempt to hold my arms out like this for 13 minutes. <laughs> Woo -wee! I'm excited. I've never done this before. And if you think it's physical, it's not physical at all. You feel it physically, but it's all mental. It's all mental, I promise you. I know girls who are much weaker than me, girls who cannot do five push-ups, girls who can't even do a single pull-up, girls who can't even, oh man, just girls who are not strong at all physically are insanely mentally strong. They can hold their arms up for 15 minutes. I'm sure they could go longer, but they just did 15 to, to, to make a point. Um, so here I am thinking I'm, I'm quite strong, working out at the gym. And I have difficulties going for 10 minutes. I struggle with 10 minutes. Um, my longest re in recent history has been like 11 and a half minutes or something. Um, but anyways, let's just get into this. Enough chit chat. We don't need any chit chat. We just need to go. Um, I am going to be walking you guys through this. So normally I do this in silence with my eyes closed. Today I'll do it with my eyes closed as well, I hope. It takes just as much discipline to keep the arms up as it does to keep the eyes closed. But I'm gonna be um, just walking you guys through what's going on in my mind during this so you can get an idea. But I'm setting the timer here for 13 minutes. Whew! And um, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's do this! Okie dokie. The thing about keeping my uh, eyes closed is that I don't know if my arms are like completely straight. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I know if they're straight, I just don't know if my left arm is lower or higher than my right arm. I checked out another video I posted like a couple days ago and my left arm was way lower than my right arm. So I do my best to keep my awareness on making sure they're balanced. Um, but whatever happens, happens. And normally I'm not talking, and normally I'm focusing on keeping my mind calm and focusing on my breath when things get really tough. So if I go into any states of silence, just know that it's trying, to, it's me attempting to uh, cope. Far, we're feeling good. Having a history in triathlon, oftentimes when I'm struggling during this arm hold, I just pretend I'm in a race and uh, I just can't let up. I just gotta keep the pressure on because, you know, paid all this money to sign up for the race and traveled long distance to get to the race. And, you know, I have these expectations of doing well, so I just gotta keep pushing. Just gotta keep pushing. And the reason I love this exercise is because this is an exercise in self-discipline. And if you can discipline yourself to push through tough times, then you're just going to be able to get more stuff done in life, man. Because there's a lot of things in life that you know are really good for you, that you know you enjoy doing. But for some lack of self-discipline, you just don't do it. So dis self-discipline is like having the neural pathways created so that you can do the things that you know you enjoy doing, doing the th do the things that you know you benefit from. So even if I don't make it to the 13 minutes today, which I'm planning on making it to 13 minutes, even if I don't, I know I'm going to be pushing through some, some serious mental blocks. And by pushing through serious mental blocks, you're strengthening your mind. You're strengthening your mind so that you can then go on and take on other challenges in life other mental challenges in life. And everything is a mental challenge, man. Everything is a mental challenge. My goal is to be, my long-term goal is to be able to hold this for 20 minutes. 
And by the end of October, it would be really nice to be able to hold this for 15 minutes. But I'm just setting these, you know, setting these goals um, so that I have something to work towards. If you don't have something to work towards in life, then you're going to flounder. You're just going to float around. So even if you don't accomplish your goals, at least you have something to work towards. At least you have something to focus on. At least you have something worthwhile to get better at. And it's fun to improve. It's fun to get better. It's fun to get closer to a desired outcome. When my friend Erin does this, she counts her breath. And for her to get to 12 minutes, it takes her 60 breaths. So it's like one inhale, one exhale, that's one breath. So it's like, that's one. And if she gets to 60, she's at 12 minutes about. If she keeps the breath nice and slow. Obviously if you go really fast, then you're gonna get way more than 60. One thing that I've really, in the past, have had troubles with, have, have, have had troubles with, is not trusting that the timer is actually on. Because once I did this and the timer wasn't on, and I just kept going, 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 and I had no idea how long I actually went for it. Probably wasn't that much longer than the actual goal time, but I just looked down at the timer after like a while of s severe struggling and the timer wasn't even working, it wasn't even on. So ever since then I've been kind of scarred, not knowing if it's been on or not. And your mind starts to play all sorts of tricks on you, even though, even though like if you saw the timer start counting down beforehand, your mind might start playing all these tricks on you, like what if there's like a glitch in the phone and like the audio just stops or something, or what if it didn't actually start, I was just seeing things, or just imagining things. Your mind plays all sorts of tricks. So as much as this is an exercise in self-discipline, it's an exercise in trust. Trusting that you've done all the right things, trusting that the phone is gonna beep, trusting that the phone isn't gonna run out of battery, or trusting that someone's not gonna call halfway through and ruin this whole exercise and cancel the timer or something, or pause the timer, I don't know. There's all sorts of things are going to come up. We're trusting that someone's not going to come home, knock on the door, and interrupt this and make this all not worth it. Who knows? We're trusting that the camera's still recording, and I haven't been talking this whole time in vain to myself. <laughs> all sorts of things come up. And this exercise is interesting because it, I mean, it's kind of like any exercise, really, in the gym where you're feeling good, feeling strong, you got that self-belief, and then all of a sudden, boom, a brick wall comes down. A brick wall appears in front of you, and you gotta plow through it. All of a sudden, it, it can get hard. And it can also come in waves, you know? It can also come in waves. Once it gets hard, it doesn't mean it's always gonna be hard. You might be able to transcend that difficulty with your mind. feel it in two different spots. My right arm, I feel it in front of my shoulder, and my left arm, I feel it on top of my shoulder. The left arm, I'm feeling it where I think I should be feeling it on both arms, but the right arm feels in front of the shoulder, which is really weird. Talking through this is definitely a helpful distraction, I think. I think, I don't actually know, because for all I know it could be like only three or four minutes in, which would be devastating. But it's not gonna be, it's probably like six minutes in or something right now. I'm at the halfway mark. If I'm at the halfway mark, man, bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. I'll show you what I'm made of. I'll show you what I'm made of. 
Another thing to keep in mind is keeping those fingers up. You know, it's easy to want to drop the fingers. I think they're important. But keeping the fingers up, that takes just as much discipline as keeping the arms up and the eyes closed. And I made a promise to myself before I filmed this video that I will upload it no matter what. Once I filmed this before, I didn't, did it, and it only lasted like nine minutes or something, and I was attempting like 12. This was like many, many months ago. And I just didn't upload it. But no, you guys are seeing this. This is going out to the world. Something can get uploaded to my main channel though, but I will post like an unlisted link. Or I'll post it, I'll upload it to my Ted Car Extra, and then I'll post a link to it on my main channel. So everyone will know about it at least. They can go check it out if they want. They can come check it out if they want. Arms are loving it, man. Arms are fucking loving it. It's also important to keep your posture up. It's easy to want to bend your back and cave in. Why do you keep that posture up? All right, here we go. Come on, be strong. Got another couple minutes in me, baby. I can go a couple other minutes. I'm gonna count down from 120. 120, 119, 118, 117, 116, 115, 114, 113, 112, 111, 110, 109, 108, 107, 106, 105, 104, 103, 102, 101, 100. I'm gonna count up to 100. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. What's gonna suck is if I stop and I'm only like a minute away or 30 seconds away, but whatever. Either way, I hope I get a PB, man. I hope I get a PB. I'm in this for the PB. Anyways, here we go. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 30 more. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. What the fuck was that? 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh, I don't know where I'm at right now, but uh, I got another like 30 seconds. I mean, I'm fucking done. I'm serious. 30, 29, 28, 27. Oh my God, are you serious? Are you serious? That's it? What? No way, dude. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm 
so surprised. I'm so surprised. I feel a little guilty, to be honest, that I was like ready to give up and put a, throw in the towel. But I did it, yo. 13, what, did I sit for 13 minutes? Is that legit? Oh my god, I did it. Yo! Alright, so I could have gone longer. Like, I got to the 30 second mark. I got, just then I was like, okay, 30 more seconds and I'm done. But that was me being like a little pansy. Like, realistically, I, like, as soon as I said that, as soon as I said, okay, 30 more seconds, I'm done. I knew that if I had a gun to my head, I could have gone at least a minute longer. Um, that was what I had, like, in sight at least. But who knows, once that minute came, I would have maybe got to, like, said, like, okay, I got another minute left. But anyways, wow, I'm so pumped. I'm so stoked. My hands are kind of not, like, asleep. Feels like they're asleep. Feels like they've been, like, slept on. They're all, like, really sharp, tingly. Uh, it's probably from, like, holding this for so long. I've never held that for 13 minutes. I don't know how the technique was. I um, hope the technique was, was fine. We're going to review it. I'm so pumped right now. i got to go to the gym, though, with my buddy. I told him I was going to leave at 10.15. It's now 10.23, so I'm just going to give him a call and um, let him know. That I might be a little late. I don't even know. I like whenever I get, whenever I add someone to my phone, I rarely put their name. So it's just like a bunch of numbers. I don't know anyone's number here, but uh, I'm just gonna text them on Instagram, man. It's the easiest thing. Say yo, leaving in two minutes. Leaving in two minutes. Okay, um, wow, that was amazing. That was such a surprise. I really didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that, but I'm really happy. Thanks if you guys watched. I don't know why I'm thanking you for looking in on this self-inflicted torture, but no, it's all good. If you guys have a name for this, by the way, I don't really know what we should call this, but it is an amazing self-discipline exercise. Um, I just call it like arm holds or willpower meditation, but... That was like, that was great, dude. I, I really think I can get to 15 minutes in, in, a, in a week or so. Just gotta keep, gotta keep doing it, gotta keep doing it. I think what really helped though was being able to talk with you guys the whole time. Um, or it's really me talking to a camera that's recording this audio and these pixels onto a little chip and I'm gonna put that chip on my computer and upload it to the internet later. So really, no one I'm talking to anyone right now. I was talking to my Canon ADD into this mic Nobody's here, it's just me, I'm home alone. But it feels like you guys are here, it's really weird. It's really weird, it's kind of like, it's, I guess it's, it's just like talking on the phone. Like when you talk on the phone to someone, they're not there, but you feel like you're with someone, right? It's just like this like half a millisecond delay before they actually hear it. Like when you say something on the phone, it has to transfer to the person, it's not instant. It may appear instant, it might sound instant, but there's always like a you know, millisecond delay or whatever. So, that's interesting. You think about that. It feels like you're with them. So this is like a slower version of that. I take the chip, put it on the computer, upload it. It's kind of like being on the phone with you guys, but like a, more like a Skype, Skype chat or something. Anywho, thanks so much for watching, guys. This was really cool. I'm going to go to the gym now and really work my arms for real. Bench press, shoulder raises, bicep curls, tricep extensions, side flies, maybe some, some rows, back rows, and then um, some core. We'll work the core of it too, all right? Peace out. I'm saving the legs though. My legs are still pretty shot from doing deadlifts. Alright, later. I owe you for this one.